For this clip, we'll talk about the storage network uh, in Long Hong version 1.3.0. What we've done is that we've separate the Long Hong network into two sections. One is from the managers to the instance managers, which will be using the Kubernetes default cluster network. And the storage network will sit between the instance managers to the replicas. Before user applies for the storage network, I recommend to always check the network availabilities between pods and between pods on different nodes. If the network is not set up correctly, it might result long home components to go into a crash loop. Here I've got a cluster with three nodes and the pre-set up motors and the pre-set up network attachment definitions. Here I've got two network attachment definitions. For the storage network, we only need to have one. And for this demo, I will be using the, the 192.168 network range. Let's have a look at my um, daemon set that I will be using to test the clusters network. For this demo set, I pointed using the annotation to the 192.168 network attachment definition to the names and to the namespaces, uh, to the namespace of the network attachment definition. To test the traffic, uh, I will be uh, executing pings from one node, uh, one pod to another pod. Let's ensure that they are on different nodes. Okay. And also have a look at um, the network. Uh, they will interface on each of the pods. through LH demo to another part with this IP address. If it pings correctly, then it probably means that it's safe to, we can safely apply the network attachment definition to the long home storage network. Let's look, first look at the um, instance manager's um, network parts before we apply the storage network. Before the storage network, we have one network interface. And let's monitor the entire cluster so we can see what Longha will be doing when applying the storage network.
I've got a preset up uh, volume that's already attached. Noho will prevent any uh, uh, the storage network setting change if there are volumes attached to, to prevent any data loss. So there are no change to the cluster and the volume is still attached. Let's apply the storage network again. Now the instance managers are restarted with a secondary network attached. So how do we know um, if Longhong has applied to the correct IPs? We can look through the Longhong logs. Let's um, attach the volumes to get the logs rolling. Okay, let's take a quick look at the, the logs. Okay, we've got instance manager pod start running and we've got a storage IP. And we see that it's got new connection from the 192.168. And then when you try to get the information and state of, of the replicas for the for the volumes, we'll see that it's got a service URL of the 192.168. Let's try to um, set it back to the cluster network and then we'll compare the difference for the on of the logs. Okay, let's look at the logs again. Okay, is this manager started with storage IP to the, um, we're expecting to the, uh, the Kubernetes cluster IP. And then we got, we see new connections using the storage IP, the clusters, uh, Kubernetes clusters IP, and then we see the service URL using the Kubernetes clusters IP. For more information, uh, you can the users can look at the advanced resource, deploy, and storage network. And to have a better understanding how we've designed this, we've got a design document, the enhancement proposal in Long Home's repository under enhancements. And somewhere in there, there's a storage network through gRPC proxy. Thank you for watching.